Well, this is CS50, a course taught by professors from Harvard University. In this video, I am going to show you the new features implemented in Project 2 Breakout. Let us begin. We press play and then select the file. I choose the grid paddle. Whoa, briefly. Um, two power ups were added to the game, where one of them colliding with the paddle generates two new balls in the same position where they collided. This power up is generated every time our ball collides um, with more than eight bricks, multiplied by the number of balls that are in play right now. So, right now we have one ball, so if that ball um, collides with eight bricks, eight, eight different bricks, or the same bricks. So, uh, um, a new power up uh, will be generated. Let's count the number of bits. Okay, let's start. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Nine. Okay. That's because it's more than eight. Nine or more. So, two more balls were generated. And now, since we have three balls, then the number of bricks to hit for another power up of this type to be generated will be 24. And now we have two balls, so the number of bricks to hit uh, um, it will be 16. And this is the power up, the key power up. So, the other power up that was added allows you to get get keys to unlock these two locked bricks right here. This power is generated every 30 seconds while there is a locked brick in play. If the player has the same number of keys, up here we have the number of keys, keys right now we have zero keys and, and when right now we will get this power up and here up we it will display a one, a number one. So if the player has the same number of key as bricks in the scene, then no more power-ups of this type of, uh, are generated. Okay, right now we have we have one key, and since the time was last uh, another 30 seconds passed during the game was paused, so we have right now one key because the ball just locked one of the one of the locked bricks so we have right now one key and if one of our ball collides with the locked brick we will lock it. let's let's see that please collide with the locked brick okay we have the power bar right here okay and now and finally, the ball grows if the player gets 2,000 points. Right now, our ball is um, very large. Um, and then, for it to grow again, uh, he must get twice as many points. That is 4,000, and so on. If the player loses a life, then the ball shrinks. Let's see how the ball shrinks. We must lose some purpose. Thank you, ball. I want to lose on purpose. Yes, the palette just shrink. And that's all. Thank you.